All right, it's day number two. I'm back up on the roof. I've been waiting for it to get warm enough. It's about 23, 24. It's blowing a bit of a fucking gale. But hey, we're out here. Have a look at it. Early morning, it's the fucking... It's prime time. Next couple of hours. Fingers crossed we get an inland on the road, so... Fucking stay tuned, mate. Honestly, fucking, we got a bit on here. Don't know where we're going. All right, so we've left um, central South Australia. We lucked out on the inland Taipans this morning. Didn't manage to find any more. Um, we're on our way west, heading through some of the mo most remote places, the remo most remote parts of Australia. We're on Amberdale Highway, which is just like this little goats track that goes straight through the guts of South Australia into the centre of Western Australia's deserts. So um, it's it's yeah, it's pretty full on, but we're cruising over there in search of our next target species. And um, yeah, we're just driving along and just seeing this little fella sitting in the middle of the road. This is a thorny devil, Molochoritis. And um, as you can see, they're a pretty, they're a pretty fucking deadly looking bit of gear. They're just covered in these spikes and they're actually hard and spiky. And you can see on the top here, they got like this bulbous little like, I don't really know what you'd call it, but it's got these two spines on the side which is exactly like these spines in front of his, on top of his eyes. And when you walk up to them, or when they feel threatened, they'll squat their head down between their legs and they'll leave this up. So you see, you kind of just didn't when I actually put my head, that, put my hand there. And they'll, so hopefully, in hope that the predator actually bites this lump, which is hard and spiky instead of biting his head. And you can see every time I go close, he's ducking his head down doing exactly that. These guys feed entirely on black ants so these tiny little black ants there's none around me to show you but they literally just eat those specky little things they'll sit on an ant trail they'll only eat them off off a line of ants they won't eat like random ants that are walking around and um they'll just sit there and they'll just wait as they walk through and they'll just pick off individual ants apparently they can eat up to five thousand in a sitting not sure how true that is i don't think anyone sits there and fucking counts the ants they eat but that's 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 the you know that's what i'm told so um, yeah, and these guys are found throughout throughout the sandy deserts of Central Australia, and they head right over on the Western Australia coast. So, really cool little thing, endemic to Australia. These are a bit of an Aussie icon, especially out here in this desert country. Um, this is a male. The males are a lot smaller than the females. The females will get a fair bit bigger, but um, yeah, out here in this sort of red journey country, they're really nicely nicely patterned. They got the striking red and yellow. And they have these really, really pretty belly patterns there. But yeah, they have, um, they also have these little tracks through their skin. Like I guess it's going, you call them like going through the scales. So when they're walking through the grass, like in the background and it's dewy, they'll pick up drops of, drops of moisture or drops of water and they can just pick it up on their back. And apparently it tracks the whole way through into their mouth and they can actually drink from that. So pretty remarkable little, little lizard it's literally built to live out here in the desert in the harshest fucking climate in australia i mean this is yeah it's a tough country it gets barely any rain ever this thing eats ants and it can fucking pick up water drops off its skin and drink through its mouth i mean it's pretty full on but yeah mad little lizard good to see and um yeah we'll get him we'll get him out of harm's way not like anyone comes through here anyway but Get him off the road. Hopefully, he can go back to terrorising the local ant population. And um, we got a fucking real big drive ahead of us. Big drive. This road's slow. It's rough. And um, yeah. So anyway, I'll let him go, and uh, we'll get back on the road. Hopefully, as this sun drops, we can pick up a couple more critters tonight. Keep it interesting, and then tomorrow, the next day, maybe we can get into the next target species. We'll see how we go. Anyway, we'll just let this little fella go.
Off you go, mate. Super slow moving. <laughs> I don't have a lot of go to him. He's got that little, that real rigid little walk going. But I guess what wants to eat that, eh? I actually have seen photos of Parenti's eating them, so. They, they do get eaten, but what wants to fucking eat it? Not me. So fucking nice, cunt. Got the camp down there. Yeah, those trees are green as fuck. <laughs> Don't want to be in it, mate. Head like a smash crab, you reckon? So here comes Big Daddy. Problems better be a chain one. Have a look at him. What fucking time is it? It's the time of your fucking life, man. There he goes. He's still going. Just walking around out here in this desert country. I'm just looking at this spin effects. Usually when you see spin effects, it's in clumps because it freshly burns and the, they grow back in clumps. But as they mature, as they get old, they the middle of them dies out. See how these are all in rings? All over there, they're all in rings. That means it's old and it hasn't burnt. So, the fucking look at the size of some of these. Whole way around here. Look at these rings, they're massive. I'm definitely no spin effects fucking expert, but it looks like. Looks like there's at least fucking 10, 20 years since the fire's gone through here. How's the colours on this little thorny? Nice look on one. Hey mate. Yes, out here looking for some ants, eh? Not like anyone fucking comes out here anyway, but
Put you in a bit of shade and you can work out what you're going to do from here, mate. That's the lighter. Another thorny. Have a look at the little fella. Yeah, do you want to get an in-situ photo of him? You may as well, mate. Skull there, eh? Yeah. Is this a roadhouse? Hang yeah, on, know, it's fucking like brand new. Hey, mate. Oh, I don't fucking assume so, wouldn't you? Hello. Is it even open? I don't know what's going on, eh? Camel skull. It's fucking huge. It's fucking not a small skull. Oh, is there anyone here? Pups? I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh, we just got out here. In the middle of the desert, there is literally fucking nothing out here, but about to cook a feed. Just got some fuel. Three dollars sixty-five a litre. So it costs like three hundred bucks for fucking eighty litres. But that's what you pay out here in the desert. No snakes today. A couple thorny devils. And uh, yeah, we're just fucking parked up here. The boys are gonna have a shower. Might get a sprinkle of rain. Blackie's going to flip a bit of tin. I told him, bring back a pan or don't come back at all. Where is he? Is he fucking going to flip it or what? Anything under it? it yet. Fucking hell, mate. Hasn't got there, he reckons. Might be in the middle of nowhere. But we fucking eat good. Have a look at them, mate. I don't know how to do this with the phone, but... Cup of egg. Fucking got me knife, mate. It's not my knife. Leg cart and thing. Got a good feed here. I'll have a look. Dingo. Sky, absolute fucking scenes out here. Look at that. 
absolute saints. Could have a bit of wild weather coming. Could have some wild weather. Let's get the shot, mate. I always get the shot gun, he reckons. Have a fucking look at it. That is lovely. Alright, I was just sitting in the car, cruising down. I was just thinking we haven't seen a fucking snake in a while. And not long after, I was yelling, the snake seen this little fella just cruising across the road. This is a little mulga snake, King Brown, Sudecus australis. And um, we're out here in the Great Sandy Desert. No, Great Victoria Desert, sorry. Um in eastern central eastern wa and um yeah this is actually the first time that i've been out here to this particular area so this is the first time i've seen a mulga from here and it's actually a fucking really really nice snake real dark looking it's got heaps of nice um like real pale like spots coming through on it which is pretty interesting but um yeah he's actually calmed right down he had a bit of a crack when I first grabbed him off the road, but we just took a quick photo of him and he's and he settled right down. It's late Arvo. There's a bit of a storm rolling. We might actually get wet tonight. Um, so we'll see how we go, but hopefully it kind of brings out a bit of snake activity and some reptile activity. I reckon there'll be a few geckos on the road tonight. And that's what this fella will be out here looking for, looking for other snakes, geckos, lizards. Whatever he can get his mouth on, these things aren't really too fussy. He's just looking for a feed. King Brown name implies he's the king of snakes. He wants to eat other snakes. So as all black snakes do, they love eating other snakes. So this fella definitely wouldn't pass up an opportunity to, to smash down another snake, a little brown snake or whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, yeah. All right. I'll say, hang on. I'll fucking... I'll get a stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you doing with a stick, cunt? No, you're right. I'll get a stick. Without getting Don't go too far forward, go back. Oh, I'm trying to. I want you to see the little. Like, oh, okay. Maybe see if you can, like, zoom in on yeah, it. Yeah, I'm up here. Hey. Alright. Why don't you just fuck, head got, grab the cut? Could have got a better stick. There you go. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what. Oh my god. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Oh, look at the little fella. He's got mad colours. Mad colours and patterns. Almost like a little reticulated, reticulated pattern in between his scales. How good's that? Little fella, I'd say out here in this country, they probably get pretty big. Usually these darker sort of, these darker animals tend to, to end up bigger. Depending on the locality, like what area you're from, or what area the snake's from, depends on how big it's going to get. But usually these darker animals, I dare say this fella would get easily get over two metres long. So he's got a lot of growing to do, and he's got to stay safe out here because there's plenty of things going on as other snakes that will call this fella dinner. So anyway, we'll get him off the road, we'll get back on the road. Busy. Got him. Hey, mate. How's that? Little Nephros Levissimus. I think that pale knobtail gecko. Oh! Losing him. Hold air. What are you doing, mate? Holy smokes. How's that? 
Nephris Levissimus. Pale knobtail gecko. Is that their common name? Pale knobtail gecko? Yeah. He's a mad little one, eh? Awesome. He's biting the fuck out of me, bro. Exposure's fucking off its door. Here we go. First thing we've seen tonight, other than that mole that's spitting rain, it's cooling off, but bit of hope if you see this little fella out. Look how fucking cute he is. They always remind me of puppies. They got like tiny little, little like paws, big eyes. And look at the tiny little tail on him. That's how it's meant to be. Literally won't even get any fatter. That's just how. That's just how he's meant to be. Pretty cool little fella. Only found out here in central, central Australia. Perfectly adapted for life in the desert. Little bloke sitting out here. Little lady, I should say. It's a girl, but. Oh, what am I doing with this phone? I don't know, anyway. Stay off the road, mate. Not that there's anyone out here to run you over, but. Hey. Bugs galore out here. Hey. Tiny little beaked gecko. Getting attacked by bugs. Oh, oh, oh he's full staunching. Oh, he's Look at him, he's on the staunch. Oh. Look at him, he's not happy. Do you want to take a photo of it, Blackie? Yeah. He's fucking sitting up like a boss. I get two. I get one from the front, one from the side. That's fucking disgusting. He's like a um, it's like a bobcat, eh? Come on, there you go. This is not affecting your footage. Me? No, it's not. I'm just taking a bit of. It looks it actually looks sick in the video, eh? It's a bit of a weapon, this thing. Oh. 